All right, everyone. So since my initial review of these Sam Hill Signature 7 IDP knee pads, a few people in the comments had asked for a follow-up review to know more about it from a long-term perspective. So this is just a quick video to give you a, an update having used these knee pads for over a year now. So one of the highlights I mentioned in the video was the breathability of the mesh at the back of the pads. And as you would see in the video, it shows sign of wear and tear. When I did tear them, I was, I was sort of bummed out. I was like, damn, these, these things are still new and I've already gone and torn the mesh because I was worried that it would have just shared out more and would have run the length of the knee pads and the knee pads would have been trash, right? But what I would say the good thing is I tore these knee pads within the first month of owning them. And I've been riding these for over a year and they haven't gotten any worse. They've more or less remained the same size. Similarly, it, I have a few holes on the on the other side as well they've held up really well as to the mesh at the back of these knee pads that other people may have experienced with other brands even though it tears somehow it doesn't share or or get any wider and i haven't done anything special to to prevent these from from getting any larger i put them on and take them off in the same manner as if they were new they, they i didn't treat them in any special or special handling to prevent it from from becoming any any larger thumbs up to 790p this mesh it does the job of making the pads very comfortable and breathable and it doesn't deteriorate any further if you do happen to tear it you see it's 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 quite durable for for all intents and purposes another thing about these pads they've held up really well um, from hundreds of washing to, to minor crashes and falls the appearance still looks quite good you'd notice the logo isn't torn or shredded it's it looks very much intact the tag isn't isn't shredded out these these are quite quite good knee pads another thing that makes them really well is the silicone rubber at the top as you see it's it's very much intact it doesn't have any defects yeah there's just one little brick in the silicone rubber here but if i pull this you realize it doesn't do much some more little minor things here I'll show you both sides of it yeah so again silicone rubber have stayed quite well and they do a continue to do a, a good job of keeping knee pads in place i continue to say that these are the best knee pads i've owned for, for the length of time i've had them they look and feel quite good they are, they're very comfortable still remain breathable other persons have gone out and purchased knee pads after the review and they've given me the same feedback they say these are very comfortable i would recommend these pads anyone that's that's in warm tropical weather whether it be in the caribbean asia pacific area and you're looking for a pair of knee pads these are the ones they find that right balance of comfort breathability and protection and having owned them for over a year, I've, I've put these through the ringer. They've survived multiple washings, crashes, minor, minor falls and so forth. And they continue to, to work quite well. If there's anything else you'd like to know about these knee pads, let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to reply to any questions you guys have uh, about these knee pads. I, I think they're great. This is not a paid endorsement or anything like that. This is just an honest review from a rider who's had these knee pads for over a year now.